Welcome to the Microsoft Translator Hub video on the training process. This section assumes that you already have created a project and invited members to participate. For more information on those topics, refer to the online help and watch the other videos that will guide you through those processes. To begin a training process, go to the project page by clicking on Projects and then Manage Projects in the upper right-hand corner. Click on the project for which you'd like to create a training in order to open the Project Details page for that specific project. From there, click on Add Training. You may give your training a name or use the auto-generated name. Notice the Use Microsoft Models checkbox. If your language is supported by Microsoft Translator and this box is checked, the training will leverage the existing translation models. This can make your translations more accurate and more fluent. Now before you begin training, you'll need to upload your assembled set of parallel documents and monolingual documents. Click the Add Documents link here at the right, browse to your documents, and then click Upload. Documents can include Microsoft Office Word documents, Adobe Acrobat files, TMX, HTML, and text file formats. It's important to note that text files must be encoded in Unicode, either UTF-16 or UTF-8. To check the encoding for text files, click the Save As button in your text editor, such as Notepad, and check to make sure that the encoding is set either to Unicode or UTF-8. Documents can only be uploaded one at a time. So if you have a large number of documents to upload, we suggest that you archive them in a zip, gz, or tgz file. Microsoft Translator Hub will extract the documents, validate them, remove any formatting and images, so you can upload monolingual and parallel documents separately or together. Parallel documents will be paired, so only one file name appears in the list of loaded documents. You'll be able to see if the document is monolingual or parallel by looking here in the Type column. Now let's take a look at the three tabs on the Training page, the Training tab, the Tuning tab, and the Testing tab. First, let's look at the Training tab. Once you've uploaded your documents, they will appear here. You can sort the files using the column headers. You can see the extracted sentences by clicking in the number on the sentence column. At the bottom of the table, you'll see a summary of the data that has been uploaded, the number of parallel sentences, and the number of parallel and monolingual documents. Next, let's look at the Tuning tab. Data you select for tuning data should be a collection of parallel sentences that strictly adheres to the expected output for the target language. This set enables the system to tune a translation model which will provide optimal results. By keeping the tuning set constant, it is possible to compare the quality of the system's accuracy as you conduct trainings with different training data sets and calibrate and select training data to better suit your needs. If you leave the default setting of Auto, Microsoft Translator Hub will randomly select approximately 5% of the data with a minimum of 500 sentences and a maximum of 2,000 sentences from the training data set as tuning data. As the data increases, so will the number of selected tuning sentences, making the quality comparison between different training runs difficult. You can freeze the tuning set by manually selecting a document to tune the results of your training. This is done by selecting the Manual Select option and then clicking the radio button next to your preferred tuning document. This can be undone by clicking Auto Select Tuning Data. Finally, let's take a look at the Testing tab. The testing data is a collection of parallel sentences that is used to test the quality of the translations. Therefore, like tuning, it should also adhere to the proper terminology of the expected output. Steps should be taken to ensure that this file contains unique sentences that are not exact duplicates of training or tuning data. This set is used to validate the translation model and is the base reference used to compute BLUE scores. Blue which is short for Bilingual Evaluation Understudy, is a metric that measures how closely automatic translation matches a human-created reference translation. A higher blue score indicates that a particular training has produced better translations. Like the Tuning tab, Automatic Selection is default. 
you can manually override that by selecting a document or set of documents that contains representative parallel sentences of your expected output. For more information on best practices for training, tuning, and testing, visit the Help section of this site.